first and foremost, I want to apologize because of the lack of content last week. Uh, because <laughs> between a combination of shoddy internet and me being a lazy piece of shit in the best of times, I haven't really gotten back to uh, doing fake Grand Order stuff, even though Shinjuku has been available for around, uh, like I said, half a month now or so. So, with the announcement of the Guda Guda rerun, as well as the Arthur uh, trial quest, which I will get to both momentarily, or soon. <laughs> How long does that have? That has, uh, that has like two weeks. I can get to that later. But, uh, Shinjuku is the pressing matter now because, I mean, it's there. It's there for us to do, and it is very much... Uh, wanting us to do it. The only other thing that I could really be doing in this time would be the uh, the half AP on Embers, which is going to be nice because I'm going to be going relatively hard on uh, doing Okita's banner. <laughs> Not only just for Okita, but because Emiya is there and he has been eluding me for the longest time. It's time to Juku and Shin while jumping for joy. Something along those lines, yeah. So... Uh, I think with all those little in, uh, introductions out of the way, we can go ahead and jump into Shinjuku, the first of Epic Remnant. Which I'm sure will be a grand time. Back in Caldea, uh, still staying here, surprisingly. I don't really know why, though. I guess we're going to get our answer here. Easy does it. Where would you like to put this, senpai? The closet? Understood. Certainly has gotten messy, what with everything that's happened over the last year. We're overdue for a spring clean. I, Mash Cray Light, or Cray Light, Cray Light. I gotta work on actually pronouncing that correctly, since the uh, the VR, Mash VR, uh, has come out and, like, shocked my world by pronouncing her name, and I'm like, holy shit, I've been pronouncing it wrong for the last year and a half. <laughs> and no, it's only been a year. I, Mash Cray Light, will have this place spick and span in no time. And we have, uh, mindless Fu now. That's sad. That's really sad. Thank you, Fu, but we'll be fine. Please wait here until you're done. Or we're done. Hey, Da Vinci. Hey, you two. How things? Uh, it's the slacker queen. <laughs> Let's grill on her. Fuck it. Uh, isn't it obvious? I'm slacking off. That's part of the job, obviously. Don't give me that look. Part of my job is making sure the two of you are in tip-top shape. Oh, and if any of the higher-ups ask where I am, tell them I'm not here, okay? Tell them we geniuses we need three times more rest than most people so we can work three t or 30 times more efficiently. I don't think that's how that works, but uh, whatever you want, Da Vinci. <laughs> I think these are your personal belongings. What would you like, uh, would you, what would you like me to do with them? Uh, just put them under the bed. Put them on the shelves. Display our lives for everybody to see. Major question. What the hell happened to my Twitter account? I tried searching for it recently and it doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> okay. I might not be able... You guys might not be able to tell because I look older, but I'm a little bit on the younger side. I am... Uh, I'm actually 19. And I've lied about my age for a while just to, you know, various things. Um, so I have started trying to rectify that in different places, including Twitter, where I had my account as birth year as 1997. So I went to go change it back to 1999. And when I did so, I got locked out of my Twitter account because, uh, <laughs> when I made my Twitter account, I was 12 years old. <laughs> so because of that, they were like, Hey, you're not 13. You can't have a Twitter account. And I was like, Oh shit. Uh, I sent in a ticket to hopefully get it fixed, but uh, who knows if that's going to work out. I'm going to give it like a couple more weeks, a week or two at most, and if I don't get an email back or anything, then I'm just going to make a new account. This top of the shelf is very dusty. Yeah. I'll go ahead and clean here too. Go for it. <laughs> I'm going to play with Foo. Let's slack around. Fuck it. Scampers. Damn. This is your room. You're the one who has to clean it. Come on, senpai. Stop grinning. It's so peaceful now. There's no, you know, threat of mankind dying. There's no uh, 
Goetia on our back, just screaming constantly, Hey, I'm gonna burn everything! There's no threat of MASH dying because she's a homunculi. There's nothing. There's just peace. <laughs> it's such a nice period. It's like the calm after the storm. Just look at all the destruction it has wrought first. That takes care of this part of your room. Since Da Vinci's here too, why don't we take a little break? I'll go make some tea. Been uh, at a moot point at this point anyway. All I wanted to do is ask when the Shinjuku stream was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> now. Thank you, Fu. It's nice of you to keep me company. Be back soon. I'm glad to see you're in high spirits again, but... Oh, wow. So she still got injuries or something? Yes and no. Her exam results were all perfect. Her cell structure is rejuvenated to that of a teenager, and her nerves and blood vessels are like new. But the non-human parts of her, that's another story. The enormous magical energy she possessed as a demi-servant is gone, and her magical circuits have jammed. You've learned a lot about magecraft over the last year, so you're, you know that magical circuits last for life. Whenever a mage uses a spell, they flip a switch to- <laughs> And I'm back in the fate route! Jesus! <laughs> they flip a switch to turn on the magical circuits inside their body. This activates them, and voila! They can cast spells. When they don't need them, they flip the switch back. Basically, the switch is always there, and your ability to use spells depends on whether it's on or off. But right now, there's a, no way to turn on Mash's circuits, even though the circuits themselves are fine. Kind of like the switch is jammed and can't be flipped. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she knows, but... Of course, patients have a right to know about their condition nowadays. <laughs> Nah, just gotta tell them they don't only like, make sh keep it from them that they don't that they have cancer, something along those lines. She was puzzled by this abnormality with her magical circuits too, but she was glad to learn she's healthy. Anyway, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Don't worry, it'll sort itself out eventually. Eventually, huh? <laughs> I'll add though that it might be a good idea for Mash to get out a bit more, like say going to school, <laughs> the Caldea Academy. What the fuck? Of course I'm back in the fate route. I don't want the explanations. I know how Magecraft works. I've seen it and I've read it like four times by now. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Naturally, genius that I am, I'm free to wear a student uniform or teach art as I please. And no, that does not include working at the school shop. Thank you very much. So, what do you think? The school teacher looks, <laughs> looks suits me pretty well, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm glad we have... Our only option is to agree, because I agree. At any rate, if MASH really were to start going to school, I bet she'd have guys and girls alike fawning over her. <laughs> is that so? She'd be getting love letters every day, confessions left and right. Ah, I just love innocent young couples. The teasing opportunities alone make life worth living. Metric ton of new fans are- Oh no, I understand, it's just- <laughs> I, I, I perfectly understand that. I don't blame them for going over, you know, all how Magecraft works again. It's kind of like, not necessary for every, st like, new s timeline series, whatever you want to say, but like, I understand. This is like the jumping point for a lot of people, so to get that little explanation helps. <laughs> Even though me, who like is fresh off the fate route and how much exposition they have in uh, Magecraft, there is just like. <laughs> uh, does anyone send you love letters anymore? <laughs> Let me send you a love letter. Da Vinci, stop filling Senpai's head with nonsense. Please don't pay her any heed, senpai. Here, have some tea. Go on. Damn, they're really pushing this. <laughs> no problem, senpai. Please don't give it another thought, okay? Come on, love and romance are important. <laughs> Damn. All right, enough joking around. You really do need to think about your future, Mash. You only get to dream big when you're young. This is your chance to broaden your horizons. Plus, you skipped like half of the steps, <laughs> so that's its own thing. Of course, you'll need someone with experience to help, help guide you. Isn't that right? Start a senpai. That's very awkward to say. 
Stardust isn't a natural name to have that be there. God. As her senpai, it's your job to make sure MASH has a bright future ahead of her, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I'm on it! I'll be glad to help. Now that's what I like to hear. Come to think of it, those people from the Mages Association didn't stick around very long, did they? They must have overloaded their poor minds with the sheer quantity of data we've gathered over the last year. Yeah, to be fair, you know, uh, that's like a year worth of just absolute slacking and not being able to do anything. The Mages Association definitely wouldn't like that, and they'd be like, what the fuck? Between Caldea summons and on-site summons, we easily called upon more than a hundred servants. And then there was us visiting singularities in seven different eras, and the ten plus ray shifts to minor singularities in between. The events! <laughs> they're canon! They're canon! Normally, a ray shift is a major event and requires approval from the Mages Association and the UN. Hey, that's uh, ironic now, considering what's going on with the UN. We may have done it to save the world, but we still broke all sorts of regulations. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, you guys broke the law to save the world. Guess who's going to prison? Still, the fact that remain uh, the fact remains that we saved the world. Um, senpai, <laughs> what's up? I just overheard this while making tea. What's the tea? Are you kidding me? Hey, don't shoot the messenger. As soon as the first team gets here, they're going to shake things up with the staff. Like they're fo uh, foisting a bunch of well-known mages from all sorts of fields on us. We still don't have the complete list, but here's a few we know that were coming. Augustus Henrik Esplund from Valier. Crossed Reen Wegner from Kisher. Uh, Valea? 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 Uh, God, these names. Sicilifi? Sicilifi from Mistyl. And Missaria Krolum from the Chimera. As if it weren't bad enough, it sounds like policies are getting involved too. They're talking about completely overhauling Caldea while, uh, while they analyze the data. They're overtaking us! The perfect storm of aristocracy, neutrality, and democracy. Or democracy. What gives them the right to... Lev Liner. Oh. <laughs> right. Hey, remember the guy that betrayed us and kind of set off the entirety of this? There's every possibility he had an accomplice. It's entirely possible that if he did, they're still out there. That's why we've got a target on our backs. We're all under suspicion for an act of terrorism that put 38 top-tier mages in comas. And we can't ask the Animospheres for help since there's still upheaval after Mo Olga Marie's death. First, they need to design, uh, designate the family that divided the Animosphere Origin Crest as the new successor, and get the other family's consent. Once that's done, they'll have to complete the rituals and get the various approvals needed for succession before they can finally come to Caldea. So, by the time that happens, we'll either have lost all of our authority, or, in the worst case, they'll ignore all of our achievements, freeze Caldea's assets, and seal everything away. Including us. <laughs> Damn, things are, uh... You know, pretty rough right now. <laughs> In pretty, you know, we went from happy fun time, ooh, we might get Slice of Life adventures, to, hey, uh, we're in danger. In the more political, financial, uh, I don't know what the sense is. Besides, I want the doctor stock, uh, start us file while I still can. And you, along with a few other people, are going to help me. Why should I? Okay, listen, let me put it to you like this. Do you really think they'll believe that a master with no experience who showed up on the day of the attack just to, uh, just to fill an empty space on the roster was able to command several different servants and take on actu the actual heroes of all the time periods he visited? Alone, without a monicum of support. And finally, that when the dust settled, he had actually managed to restore humanity? Because even I don't believe it. We shouldn't even be alive right now, but we are, and it's all thanks to him. <laughs> hey, thanks for the support, guys! Listen, I'm sorry. It's just, when you stop and think about what Stardust has accomplished, it's unbelievable. So much so that the Mages Association, called Dea included, may get caught up in a political infighting. No, I'm sure they will, and before it's over, someone's going to get dis to get disappeared. To get disappeared. Don't you mean someone's going to disappear? Isn't that more correct vernacular? What the fuck, Anaplex NA? 
where's your guys's grammar? So that's why I uh, want to edit status information while I still can, even just a little bit. For example, we could have it say Caldea's backup was in fine shape even after the terrorist attack. This amateur master has, we've been relying on was never more than a way to maintain servants' contracts. <laughs> Ain't can't English. <laughs> Damn. Dr. Roman was the only one who handled all of the complex matters, including hero negotiations, and so on. I know this is wrong. Will I even end up disgracing Stardust's name? But he's been fighting alongside us for over a year now. Don't you want to make sure he has a future? <laughs> Damn, the guilt trip. Let's start with Orleans, where the first singularity was. <laughs> Damn. So all of our, uh, all of our credit, all of our accomplishments on paper, uh, someone going to get disappeared as a gangster speak from the era of uh, bootlegging and prohibition. It is a proper phase. All right. Damn. Maybe I'm the one that's lacking the grammar. Oh, well. Anyway, they're taking our accomplishments away from us, even though it's kind of necessary, it's still depressing. Well, they actually have the right idea. After everything, there's no doubting that Stardust is a hero who saved the world. So now that the Association knows his talents, they're not going to leave him alone. Assuming, of course, that, they <laughs> that we just have to hand over the raw data. Yeah. And, well, I mean, what could they really do for us? Or what could we do for the Mages Association? Pretty much the grammar is wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, why do I doubt that uh, they know that? Anyway, what's... What can, the, what can we really do in terms of being part of the Mages Association? We're... I mean, we know about, may, uh, like, magic and all of its complexities and even have studied a little bit. I mean... I'm sure he, they, that the master here has some sort of proficiency in magic, but uh, a lot of it has been mystic codes and, you know, just guiding the servants. It's more or less been them doing it. I mean, we have been too, to a certain degree, but like, <laughs> Jesus. Also, you come across the idea of settling desig uh, sealing designations uh, in the Nasuverse. Have I come across? Oh, uh, I know about it from the, uh, the, uh, What's it called? It's, uh, that's it. I don't want Senpai to get caught up in a political battle either. But it's not fair that nobody will know he saved the world. But I haven't really read up too much into it because they haven't, besides an offhand comment I think they made in, like, Fate Route, they haven't really gone into it in the things that I've read. I finished, uh, Unlimited, uh, by the way, I finished Unlimited Blade work, uh, uh, like a week or so ago, and that was really good. Need to get into reading Heaven's Feel, but uh, <laughs> I've been putting it off even though I have to read it because I want to go watch the movie that's coming out in a week. Uh, it's not fair that nobody will know he saved the world. We all know. Oh, designated for sealing. All right, all right. We don't save shite. He's right, you know. So does the entire, yeah, everybody, everybody here knows. Yeah, movie hype on Thursday. Yep, coming out soon, coming out soon. Don't forget the many servants he formed contracts with. Heroes, anti-heroes, the servants who gathered at the Temple of Time, they certainly know. Even though they don't remember because they lose their memories upon, you know, going to the throne of heroes, that's kind of a thing. Each and every one of them knows exactly who is responsible for saving the world. <laughs> then it's okay. You don't crave recognition, do you? No, that's not it. You truly respect everyone you met while saving the world. Servants, people, everyone. Which basically means the Mages Association keeps you alive as a living experiment till they can solve the goddamn. That's not a fun existence. Even though he's like mostly like a regular dude that just happens to have, uh, just happens to get along with people and have mages. <laughs> it has the uh the potential to be a mages. Yeah, but that's kind of like the uh the, the overall thing <laughs> that uh, they've kind of drilled into our heads. Like, hey, mages association is a bad guys probably shouldn't let things happen. You wanna have a snack? Oh, Fu seems more innocent these days, doesn't he? Yeah, because he lost his consciousness. He's no longer uh, beast, the beast. Oh well, no longer uh, Plagueis or whatever it is, Anima Murder. Ah, 
They're going to start investigating Caldea pretty soon, so I think I'm going to make my escape. <laughs> you two can stay here and make sure the whole room is nice and clean. See you later. Okay, good luck, Da Vinci. But um, try not to slack off too much. Okay, Senpai. Shall we head back to cleaning? Look, there's still uh, all those Halloween and Christmas decorations piled up in the corner. I don't they use the servants in the facility to protect them from the other maids? Uh, they're probably... I think they're still in coma. Oh, wait, the servants in the facility. Never mind. Not like not they can do anything against the servants. Uh, because there's not necessarily, like, still... I don't know. Look, there's still all those... Uh, anyway, we still have... We have those? Why do we have those? What about the New Year decorations? We have New Year decorations, right? <laughs> Did we actually... Oh, uh, all these references to the events is nice, though. That's touch upon in the prologue to Lost Belt. Ooh, so are you talking about the OVA or just the prologue itself? Uh, there, that looks much better. Now, what next? Ah, I've got it. We should take this chance to clean the other rooms so they'll be ready when the servants come back. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Suddenly attacked. Or something's going on. Start a smash. It's an emergency. I need you to come to the command room right away. All right, off we go, I guess. Can't pinpoint the singularity location. It appears to be confined to an incredibly small area. Analyze its wavelength. Find out if it's similar to the other singularities. I found it. It's 74% uh, similar to singularity F, the Fuyuki one. Now filter the anal uh, analysis to major Japanese cities. How long will that take? Give me five minutes. Damn, Da Vinci's really taking up everything else. At some point, the thing doing uh, doing now a bit where you touch the next story chapter start and get to a, a long prologue. Foundation of humanity fluctuation is over 30%, almost the same as the seven singularities. Although, it's strange. Something's off. Off. Off how? I'm sorry, it, just may, it may just be my imagination. I've seen seven singularities over the past year, and something about this new one just strikes me as odd. Don't dismiss your intuition. I want you to think about what it is until you remember. Uh, this, uh, this, this bit they're starting to release a week early. Oh, um, okay. You don't get the map until the proper launch date. I've got it now. It's in Tokyo, in the Shinjuku Ward. It, that is small. Shinjuku is just a single ward in the entire capital city, right? The year is 1999. I don't remember any historic events taking place then. No, it was a perfectly ordinary year. There were no events that could result in a singularity, but... <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I'm here! Stardust, Mash. What in the world? We've got another singularity. Ooh! Boy, it's time for us to get back in there. Yes, we know this shouldn't even be possible. Galatia is gone and the seven singularities were all repaired. However, one thing always bothered me. The fact that singularities pose a threat from the moment of their occurrence. Look, you've been going around quashing every little singularity that popped up this past year. Those occurred because the emergence of the seven singularities created some major time distortions, which in turn affected other timelines. And just because the seven singularities were repaired doesn't mean those distortions simply disappear. That said, I couldn't have foreseen that until the appearance of another singularity on par with those. Anyway. Anyway you slice it, this isn't good. And to make matters worse, the people the Mage's Association was supposed to send still aren't here. Which means we're not under their jurisdiction! Time to go in there! I've already told the UN and the association that this will be part of the Demon God Pillar incident cleanup. They weren't totally on board with it, but they should be satisfied once they send once we send them the data. So, on that note, Stardust, it's time for you to set up and save the world again. <laughs> we have to fight again. Uh, <laughs> exciting from a gameplay perspective, but you know, this is a pretty bad news situation. Well, I don't think any master who is unfamiliar with uh, what it is like in a singularity would stand much of a chance here. After all, it looks like this new singularity is just as abnormal as the other seven. I think so too. But that's exactly why I think Senpai, I mean Master, shouldn't go. 
Am I wrong? I gotta let it out. Oh god. Devil May Cry 5's out now! <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's the thing. No, you're not wrong. The fact remains that right now, Stardust is the only master we've got. Thankfully, we still have some servants here too. I'll race uh, I'll race ship them along with you, so you won't have to worry about anything while you get to the bottom of this. So that's where we stand. <laughs> All right, let's go get ready. Mash probably can't do it because uh, her, her fucking what's it called? It's her uh, her magic circuits are fucked right now. I'll be straight with you. This situation is dire, and we have no clue what's going on. Mash, you should have a good idea what Romani's role was by now, right? You need to verify Stardust's existence so that he doesn't disappear. His vitals will be in constant state of flux. Don't take your eyes off them. If any start to show abnormal values, edit them immediately. You won't be able to sleep until things calm down. In some ways, this may be harder than ray shifting. I, I figured that I was in the FK channel. I was going to move myself after this was done anyway. No matter how dire it gets, focus on your master's data and keep validating his existence. That's the best thing you can do for Stardust right now. How about it? Are you up for it? Yeah, sure! I vow to support Senpai as best as I possibly can. Or my name isn't Mash Create Light. <laughs> Let's, alright. Fun, fun. You got about five channels sitting to the left of your face. Let's switch page. <laughs> They're all playing DMC5. God damn. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it came out today, right? Like, last night today. So, <laughs> I'm not surprised everyone wants to be playing that game. I promise to do my very best to carry them out. Good, now I won't have to worry about the part of this job. Delegating's the best. Vinci, whatever you're thinking about, I don't like it. <clears throat> Let's get to it then. Shinjuku, Tokyo, 1999. This should be one of the safest times and places in history, but now something's going on there. I know that telling you this is like trying to tell me how to paint. Watch, you, watch your step out there, Stardust. No! <laughs> Master candidate number 48, Stardust. If you wish to save humanity, if you wish to say, have a future beyond 2018, then you alone must go and face these seven singularities in human history. Are you prepared to do this? Can you shoulder the burden of Caldea and humanity's future? How pathetic. Looks like I'm the only one who has yet to be mentally prepared. But that's coming to an end right now. That look on your face, Stardust, it's cheered me up. As the acting director of Caldea, I order you to enter the coffins. Please put an end to this absurd scheme. Prove that an endeavor as hollow as Solomon simply needs to go up in flames without anyone ever knowing about it. <laughs> oh, I'll find out in a moment, okay. <sighs> yep. We're great. We're all right. We're perfect. We're going to do this. It's time to board the coffin. All right. Time to get going. Without MASH. This is the first time that we've ever done a mission without MASH. Uh, excluding, you know, the end of Solomon. Ooh, this looks cool. It's like broken glass. Or, like, a. Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, like a prism or something. Oh god, it's all black and white. <laughs> Where's the color? Where's the color? I mean, there's a little bit of color, like you can see like red dots everywhere, and the lights and everything, designating where certain things are. Go ahead and jump right into uh, this aspect. Uh. I think since there's the bonus to uh, there's the bonus <laughs> to how much uh, friend not friend points uh, bond points we get because if they're evil then I have specifically where is it where is it where is it where is it I've specifically made a team designated towards evil teams <laughs> now the question is how effective it's gonna be and I hope that it'll be very effective, but I have my doubts. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm ever running this team. This is a good shell that I'm trying to run, but we'll see how it, how well it works out. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Can we not use MASH actually? 
No, we can still use Mash. We just can't. Like, she's not with us in story. Uh, interesting bit. This isn't the DMC bit. Some of these boss battles suck. <laughs> oh, for the for the Shinjuku. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I've seen some of them on YouTube, and I've got plans around them. Starting off with fighting a caster, though. And probably just various enemies. I doubt it's going to be like something big like a servant already. But hey, we'll see. Master, I'm guessing. Master! Wake up, Master. Master, please, wake up. Nah, that ain't Nash. Nah, she ain't with us. Who's with us? Oh, it is. Huh. Master, please get a hold of yourself. <laughs> God damn it. What? That's like the last couple singularities. So you have a good taste for fighting games. Ah, oh, thanks. I appreciate it. This is the seven singularity all over again. What's going on? Why are we always falling from the sky? There must be servants nearby. Let's ask them for help. Can't be right. All the servants that should have ray shifted along with Stardust have been sent flying. Stardust doesn't even uh, doesn't have any servants to support him anymore. God damn it! We can't. The singularity is establishing itself too quickly. We can't bring Stardust back until he fixes the era. We'll give it a shot, but I don't think we can do it before he hits the ground. Master! God damn it. <laughs> I don't know if you follow sub alert, uh, but if you do, it's not working. Nah, I don't have that. I should honestly establish that at some point. Ah, uh, yes. Save the falling boy. I should I should set it up. I used to have it, but I need to get something that's uh, less conspicuous because I had a long as fuck follow alert. I should probably... I'll fix that at some point. I, I think I'll try and set it up before next week because I'm going to start trying to stream more next week. Save the falling boy. That is precisely the girl's role in this soon to begin story of love and hope. The meet cute, as it were. Soon enough, you will be off gallivanting. What the fuck? Gallivanting about with your new love, doing your best to fix the singularity. Or perhaps not. Truly a lovely story. A grand take. Unfortunately, though. Your rescuer is neither a dapper young gentleman nor a beautiful young lady. You must content yourself with yours truly. A rather shady looking old man. <laughs> Thank you. My, my. I'm impressed you have the wherewithal to mind your manners at a time like this. You must be exceptionally polite or exceptionally foolish. Let us hope for the former. Now, for the landing! <laughs> ah, shit! It just crashed through the building. Woo. Woo. That was no mean feat for a gentleman of 50 or though, <laughs> thereabouts. But I brought it off perfectly. Not that I would expect anything less of myself. Right then, how are you holding up? No brain damage? Nerves alright? Bones intact? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, pardon my lack of manners. I must have been scrutinizing you rather closely. Well, don't mind me. I'm just a dried up old man. Not much different from being inspected by a machine. The important part, of course, is to be certain that you are still fit and able. Excellent. Now that we know that you're well. Welcome to hell, Master of Chaldea. <laughs> hell? Uh, Femsi, uh... I, I, I get that. People like what they like. Just take a look at what's happening to this city. <laughs> Aw, man! We got some ruffians and some... Hold on, I gotta take this real quick. <laughs> the worst timing. Alright. <laughs> uh, let's move that uh, interruption aside and move on with this. What is all this? That's a good question. It's hell. It's hell. And, uh, you know, automa automatons and uh, gangsters. Gangsters with a capital G. That's <laughs> fuck. That was awful. Um, <laughs> spellcasters, demonic beasts, sentient mannequins, and pseudo soldiers known as hornets. Almost all of the good people have died off, leaving only the worst of the worst. A fin de siècle. Uh, I don't know that <laughs> word. Siècle. 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 <laughs> fuck, dude. I don't know what the language that is in the first place. In every sense of the word. Oh, look, Shinjuka's literally just double. So I'm part of the Devil May Cry 5 streamers, right, guys? Cut off from the outside world, this city has become prison. A horrific cesspool of unnatural, uh, of, uh, unit, unat, 
What the fuck? Uniturably? I don't know that word. Vile. We call it Shinjuku, the quarantine territory of malice. Shinjuku. Quarantine territory of malice. <laughs> da Vinci's still having a good time. Now look, she's all smiles. <laughs> it seems the time has come to reveal Shinjuku's first secret. You know, <laughs> fuck, dude. I, I, even seeing you type it out, I can't pronounce it. Unspeakable. All right. It is nothing earth shattering, but go on. See for yourself. Is that a wall? Oh God, I don't have good memories of walls surrounding a vast area. I just finished talking about Rampa V3, man. It's surrounding all of Shinjuku, just like the one that encircled a rook. Right, you are. It is a wall. And yes, it does indeed surround Shinjuku. So what's beyond the wall, you ask? Nobody knows. Not trans no transmissions come in, no transmissions go out. I thought that everything burned down when humanity was incinerated. We're currently unable to analyze anything but Shinjuku. Jiba can barely make it out of the scattered remains of the wards that neighbor Shinjuku. But otherwise, the outskirt of the wall appears to be the same as per uh, the periphery of the singularities during the incineration. Excuse me, but and what's that tower over there doing uh, to the west? <laughs> yeah, you know, the giant one? The one that's very clearly <laughs> what we should be having our eyes drawn towards? Hey, servanty person, do you know what that is? Oh, that? I believe you'll find that it's the lair of the one who will be your nemesis here. But I'm afraid you won't be getting there anytime soon. I'm sure you understand that in stories such as ours, the path to the villain is as <laughs> circuitous as best. What do you mean the path cuts off before it reaches there? What, do you, uh, what about hopping over the rooftops? I'm afraid that would make you easy pickings for the enemy servants. Yeah, hey, there's servants here. Who would have thought? Who are you? I think it's about time you told us that. Hmm, I see. I suppose it would only be proper to tell you my true name now. But remember this, young master of Caldea. Usually, a servant must keep their true name fit, uh, hidden. After all, revealing it would also mean revealing their weaknesses. You know who this is, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go ahead and... I know who all these servants are, because, mostly because, like... I know who all the Epic of Remnant servants are, mostly because it's hard to stay unspoiled on that when there's so much talking about them gameplay-wise, especially nowadays. So, uh, for the sake of each of the story streams, I'm gonna keep their names all a spoiler. Like, uh, I'm gonna keep all their names a spoiler and talk to them how they want to be uh, addressed uh, for the sake of the stream and for the sake of the story. But yeah, I do know who all these people are. The more invincible a renowned hero of myth seems, the more certain they are to have a weakness. Mythology, after all, does sometimes have its plot devices. Sometimes, the bigger the monster, the easier it is to dispatch. Thus, the, sir, uh, the custom among us servants of calling each other by class names is typical in Holy Grail Wars. Though I am given to understand that there was no time for that sort of thing during the restoration of humanity. Of course, with any number of masters urgently shouting, Archer, attack, Archer, heal, and Archer, defend, one could be forgiven for getting a little confused. Nonetheless, in this singularity, revealing one's true name could, well, prove fatal. Are we clear on that, young man? As such, I can tell you my class name to facil facilitate easy communication, but I cannot yet reveal my true name. I hope you'll understand. Alright, what are we addressing you as? The only one who it's pointless to uh, hide is Abby. Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't want to wait. You don't waste any time, do you? An admirable demonstration of your decisiveness. Very well, then. I shall tell you my class name. I'll even be more specific to help it be a, prop, uh, a proper appellation. My class is Archer. Here I am known, or so I'm told, as the Archer of Shinjuku. Of course, you may simply call me Archer if you're sure you don't. If you won't find it confusing. That's really specific. I like the comic where it was like, "Yeah, this, I'm Archer of Shinjuku," and then all the other servants in Caldea just started giving themselves nickname. Uh, like, like Cascus was uh the caster who doesn't have a lance. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, uh, foreigner, right? So yeah, there's only her, uh. I forget the other one's name. Uh, next junior servant and uh, mysterious heroine XX. 
That's really specific. <laughs> you said it, Stardust. Got a nice local feel to it. I had my reservations about this name at first, too, but I decided it was better than Tokyo Archer. There's a certain pomposity it would <laughs> take to use such a prestigious city as my name, no? And here comes Tokyo Archer, the undisputed champion of the Holy Grail War for 13 years straight. You know, that sort of thing. On the other hand, Roppongi Archer sounds rather like I work at a host club. At any rate, there you have it. I am the Archer of Shinjuku. At least, I believe so. Alright then, let's begin our trip into hell. Wasting no time, I see. Archer class, huh? I would have guessed you were a caster. Yeah, you know, you got the cane, the staff, or whatever. Hey, that staff's kind of, that's a sword. <laughs> that staff is a sword, or the cane is a sword. What the fuck? You're a shark. Damn it, why does every archer have a sword? <laughs> Even my spirit origin wonders if I wasn't originally supposed to be a caster. Hmm, you know what? Never mind that for a moment. I may seem otherwise, but I am most assuredly an archer. And by 1999, you don't even need to wait around for Angolmois? Hmm. He's using a lot of fancy words. <laughs> My small brain can't comprehend all these words. If all the weapons of mass destruction scattered around the world were to activate, we'd be done for. Of course, it's usually the case that doesn't happen theoretically. Or that it doesn't happen. That that doesn't happen. Damn. Theoretically, that's even how it should be. Without something akin to divine intervention, destroying the world should have been impos an impossible dream. But now, the world's so small it can fit in the palm of your hand. That certainly simplifies matters. Today, each and every one of us has the potential to destroy the world. How things change. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, my apologies. Listen to me rambling on when I should focus. Talks like a bad guy, dresses in modern day clothing, looks like a caster. Hmm. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Sorry about that. At any rate, Master of Caldea, you may want to take a few steps back from when you're standing. What with the net and all? <laughs> the net? You mean like the internet? No, the net net, you dumbass. <laughs> Is that wire mesh or something? Master, I'm picking up several hostile looking enemies. Or entities. You need to get out of there immediately. Now, now, just hold your horses, young miss. This is an excellent opportunity to truly understand what happened to Shinjuku. But, I will of course assist. It is the very reason I saved the young master here, after all. Think of this as my audition of sorts. <laughs> now we got him! Hey! Over here, guys! What a handsome guy! I can't wait to mess him up! They are no run-of-the-mill ruffians! I enchanted? How could ordinary humans in 1999 do that? An excellent question. The answer is that they are not, in fact, ordinary. Who the funk? The spellcasters that have managed to survive this living hell. Only the truly wicked can survive in Shinjuku as it is now. Anyone lacking that vicious virtue meets with oppression or death. Order is long since gone. Chaos is all that remains. It's fucking Arkham City. Kill them. If their bodies are clean, the necromancer will give us a good price for them. Now then, Master of Caldea. Now that you are in this evil world wash with sin and bereft of punishment, what what do you have to show me? I have joined me first. I have nothing to show you. Of course. Well then, this should certainly be diverting. All right, Master. Give me your orders. And time to move myself out of the AFK channel. Guys, <laughs> guys, ready for Shinjuku the ride? It's time. 1999. The map is all black and white. <laughs> I arrive falling out of the sky. I don't know what to do, but I know one thing. Like, <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm excited. I am also excited. This is gonna be great. Yep. Uh, don't need that yet. Alright, time to get started with the new team. This team, I'm actually pretty looking forward to running. Just because it's evil and they gotta keep the theme up as much as I can, excluding some uh, class advantage stuff. But hey, that's what Berserkers are for. Yeah, good thing you have an evil biz that's five Yep. 
<laughs> She's totally evil. 100% evil. I mean, that looks pretty evil to me. Only the most yes, evil. Actually, I probably could have. It's a shame you don't have Ryder Kentucky. He's very thematically appropriate for hiding these caster bugs. Yeah. <laughs> Look how many stars I'm getting. God damn. <laughs> When I first got to this fight with those guys in the pipes, I immediately thought of like my Kagar. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Go ahead and trying to think of a decks are kind of hard with it, but oh well. That should get MP, I think. Close. Alright. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. I, what I'm looking forward to most from the singularity <laughs> is getting the drops because I need I need the <laughs> spinal cord fluid. <laughs> I really need the spinal cord fluid. And uh yeah, that'll come soon enough. You'll get it eventually. Mm-hmm. I believe. And believing is half the battle. Uh, yeah, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Forgot to mention. Worst comes to worst, and I end up dropping on this little bit. I have. I have a. Uh... Oh, I can't remember. I have Ushi in the back. That should be fine. You roll on the banner when this launched. I rolled on... I did a 10 pull on both the first banner and the second banner. First banner, I got... God damn it. <laughs> the first banner, I got... Uh, Avenger of Shinjuku. Second banner, I got Emiya Alter. Which is both... Uh, not... I got one thing I was aiming for. I was aiming for a Assassin. Because I really wanted Assassin. But... Say what I know, I know both of my my IRL friends went all out on good old Shinjuku 1. Uh, what for? Uh, one of my friends was aiming for, for, uh, Doggo. Okay. And then, actually, both were basically aiming for Doggo. Alright. <laughs> uh, one IRL friend got the, got Doggo, luckily, and then NP3 of Assassin. Alright. And then my other friend just got insanely lucky. He got NP3 Assassin, a Doggo, and NP2 Archer. Oh, damn. Damn! Yeah. How much quartz did they spend? Uh, a lot, probably. <laughs> I didn't have them for exact numbers, but... It was less luck and more... Got what they want, <laughs> luckily. Pretty... Yeah. I, I was happy for him. Wait, wait. Uh. Wait. Ah, fuck. I've got the wrong mystic coat on. Oh, no. Oh, well. I'll live. I'm set on Avengers. Yeah, I have Gorgon and I have, uh, <laughs> yeah, MP Gorgon and MP1, uh, ah, oh, so close. <laughs> dog. M yeah, MP1 dog. Doggo. Yeah, I'm pretty... Man, I can't wait for that Anorante animation update. It can't get here fast enough. Yeah. Oh, man. Imagine having Ooh. basic animations in the year of our lord. 2019. <laughs> God damn, 1700. Yeah, you get a lot of bonds. Uh... Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Crazy. Meanwhile, back in Caldea. Oh. Especially if you're running evil people. Which most of my team is. I'm going to try and make most of my team evil this entire run. Epic. Because thematic and all that sort of stuff. Do you have any idea what the Archer of Shinjuku's true name might be? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We definitely just dropped frames there for a second. It wasn't just you. Don't worry about it. 
Not only am I the world's most eminent artist, but I am also the world's foremost authority on servants. And that one doesn't line up with anything I know. Even if I narrow the scope to either archers or casters, there's always something off about him. Yeah, I think so too. I get the feeling that he's not just hiding his name. He might even be disguising his class. You too, huh? Still, I can understand mistaking, say, a saber for a berserker. But mistaking a caster for an archer? That seems uh, seriously unlikely. Yeah, we are dropping frames a little bit, so... Uh, if you're having trouble, <laughs> they're going to be fluctuating probably for a second. I assume the internet will stabilize at some point. <laughs> oh boy, everybody likes technical issues. And then there's his fighting style. I wondered about that too. An archer who uses bullets? God damn it! <laughs> Alright. Let's finish this uh, first, first chapter up because before I get any more interruptions with it. An archer who uses bullets? Naturally, I've got a few ideas, but he doesn't line up with any of them. Really, the kid does something, uh, I don't know. There's probably a whole bunch of people that use guns. Well, the archer class was probably, you know, really bolstered one <laughs> with the uh, introduction of guns. Don't say anything about this to Stardust. Understood. I'll continue investigating his identity while this operation is underway. God damn. Frames drop. Alright. A quick fluctuation. Damn it! You'll pay for this! Talk about cliched. Straight out of like a... What your average gangster would think. Or would look like. Almost like... They were, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. All done. I must say, one truly feels one's years when being summoned at this age to fight in a battle. <laughs> Weren't you... Yeah. I'm surprised uh, you weren't, because this should, every servant should be theoretically summoned in their prime, according to what they are summoned as. You've got me there. I suppose this must be me in my prime. I am in excellent shape, and this weapon, this coffin, certainly makes it easy to hit whatever I happen to aim for. Now is your prime? Are you certain? Right, right you are, young knight. I have no memory whatsoever of being young during my prime. In fact, ever since I got older, my memory has been hazy and fragmented. It's really quite troubling. Why was I fighting here, I wonder? <laughs> for justice! For I am the hero of Shinjuku! Is that what you call this? Although, this feeling in my chest, maybe it is what you'd call justice. Hmm, you really are a sharp one, aren't you? Perhaps a little too sharp. So, Archer of Shinjuku, now that things have calmed down a bit, I was hoping you, we could have a chat. Hmm, yes, I certainly understand. You want to know more about what's going on in Shinjuku here, don't you? And I'm sure you especially want to know how it's unusual and where history may have gone astray. Uh, astray. Awry, I was expecting more than anything else. Well, before we get to that, why don't we make a deal? I will tell you the truth about the city. In return, you pay me accordingly. Cash or credit? Hmm, neither, really. What I want from you is trust. I want to hear you say you trust me and also act accordingly. In all my life, there is only one thing in which I have trusted absolutely, and you are not it. You think you can trust me? I want to. <laughs> uh, that's more than anything else. Here's a little listening trickery. <laughs> oh boy. So it's not that you don't trust me. It's that you want to, huh? Good. If you would agree to trust me right away, I would have packed up and gone home immediately. Now that I have a home to go... Not that I have a go home to go to, of course. I butchered that. Now, now, this is just how I look naturally. You got a resting bitch face. <laughs> At any rate, neither of us trust the other yet, but I think there's one big thing we can agree on. We cannot permit Shinjuku to remain as it is. Evil cannot be permitted to rampage unchecked. I think it's safe to say we're on the same page there. Yeah, and so you give us a reason not to be on the same page. Delightful! Then I shall do my utmost to earn your trust and you may demonstrate what you're capable of. You commanded numerous servants and triumphed over the seven singularities, right? That must mean you're not only the last master in the world, 
You're also the greatest. Now that, I must see for myself. <laughs> you're just... You're just trying to make it sound better than it is. Oh, hey. <laughs> I wonder who this is. Nah, no, Dante's. Month X, day Y. Dante's journal. To be frank, good cannot survive here. Here, good is fragile and unreliable. Cooperation is impossible. Therefore, no choice remains but to rely on others. Reliance makes up for less than the sum of its parts. As such, evil will always refuse good. Cat, all skin and bones, has summoned the last of its strength to consume a dog's remains. Its gaze is as sharp and deadly as a knife. The rats nearby waiting for scraps dare not approach. The person draws near, hoping to beat the cat to death and devour both it and the dog. Then the rats come, swarming over the li three larger creatures until even their bones are gone. Evil consumes both good and evil alike, annihilating each other with equal disdain. To survive here, one must either possess great power, or move in a group of like-minded comrades. Unfortunately for me, being part of a group is not something I excel at. But what am I to do? My investigation of Shinjuku is proceeding at peace. Or pace? I'll say. Although the knowledge of Shinjuku imparted to me differs greatly from the reality of its insights, the premises of its external structure remains largely intact. There are ruins where buildings should be, collapsed husks where a house should be. However, there's something different about the building. What could it be? I'm guessing, you know, the large tower, the one that is very obviously out of the norm. Month X, Day Z, Dante's Journal. I have confirmed the presence of a visitor from Caldea. He is now accompanied by another. The situation is more perilous than he realizes. But that one's heart is pure evil. Okay, they're not even beating around the bush. Yeah, it's fucking... Definitely, uh, you know... Archer Shinjuku's definitely pretty shady. Believe me, I would know. For evil is as evil does. From the moment he was born, he knew only contempt. To him, love has always been a foreign concept. That's why I find him standing at his side to be so... Frightening. However, if he was to find out what I was up to, I would lose the element of surprise. At the moment, my sole advantage is that nobody knows I'm here. I still believe the singularity to be some sort of mistake, the result of a mere coincidence. No, 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 no. This has all been meticulously planned out from the beginning. With his involvement, it had to be. Good. That'll do nicely. <laughs> Dante's in the background just being all shady as hell. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna watch for a bit and see how I things mean, play out. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> that's kind of his thing. I can't deny that, but at the same time... 